there's a lot of artistic license some people can take when they come up with titles for their recipes. Maybe they did that with this one, because this week on Grandma's Cookbook, we're making crazy chocolate squares. I don't know exactly what ingredients in this makes them crazy, or eating them makes you crazy. I'm not sure. Regardless, come join me for this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where we make crazy chocolate squares. To start with, we're going to need to take two cups of brown sugar and two-thirds cup of margarine, then cream together. Next, we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla and then two eggs, and then mix that very well. Set that mixture aside, because now we're going to sift together all of the dry ingredients, which include two cups of flour, one half teaspoon baking soda, one half teaspoon salt, and then take that and add it to our wet mixture and then blend together. Once the mixture has come together nicely, you're going to put your mixture aside and then add one half cup of chopped nuts of your liking. I went with walnuts here. And one half cup chocolate bits. Take a spatula, mix it together as well as you can. Next, you're going to put it into a 13 by 9 by 2 inch pan. Greased, of course. And it may look like it might not cover it completely, but it's fine. Just go with it. Then you're going to bake it in an oven for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. And voila, you've got crazy chocolate squares. And how do they taste? Well, come on, it's just basically a chocolate chip cookie with, made out of brown sugar. It's amazing. Uh, let these cool completely before you cut them. And a little pro tip, I put them in the freezer, and they don't get rock hard. They get a little chewy. And I think they're better that way. Very much recommend these. So thank you for tuning in for this week's Grandma's Cookbook. Go give this a shot. I will see you next week for some more cooking out of a book.